on YouTube. It's on hold YouTube. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say, I can Kobe said the toughest player he ever had to play against. Kobe. He ever had to play against was Tracy McGrady. It's on YouTube. He went on. Uh, yeah, T-Mac. You know how special T-Mac was, bro. He's the Hall of Famer. Yeah, definitely. But listen to this though. You know why on YouTube they give you? It's somebody that do that throwback jump where they show like certain highlights of games and stuff. It's called. Oh throwback. yeah, uh huh. Where they do the that duos, combat. bro. That combat. Nah, not that one. Bro. They show a Christmas game. When it was even yeah, like, oh, yeah. Oh, he was good too, but when I say T Mac fried him, bro, it was a bro, he was cooking. And that he, seventy point game, he made Gil. He had the seventy, wasn't it the seventy one point game or some shit like that against the Wizards? And Gil had forty, but it was such a quiet forty because T Mac gave him seventy, and he missed ten free throws. Bro, what about yeah, 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 yeah. But what about but what about when they were the niggas was down like ten or nine with like thirty five seconds? They come back, that's what they And they came back and see that came down at the game with a shot of one. I know you seen that. Yeah, I'm about to look at that as soon as I get off the phone. Bro, 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 bro. that nigga literally, literally everything me, that could have happened wrong happened to good me, to him. To me, I think what happened with T-Mac was this, because he, he was a clutch player, but he had to do it. They talk about LeBron doing shit on him. T-Mac had to do a lot on his own, but what I think happened with T-Mac was he left Toronto thinking it wasn't a bad move because he was going there with Grant Hill. It ain't T-Mac's fault that Grant Hill ankle couldn't get right. I bet if he could well, find it. They still did like, good in Orlando. I'm hip. But looking back on it, let's just say we – we could have predicted the future, and we knew that Grant Hill was finished. If that oh. nigga would have stayed with Vince, oh, I man. think history could have been different, bro. I don't know about winning the finals, because you would have had to see how much he would have produced. But I can I, I can honestly say he would have, man, him and, oh, God, him and T-Mac. You need to see with teams like that, because of the position they play, that's a two guard and that's a four. You need somebody to run the team. You need somebody that can honestly set them up. Because just because just because of the fact that you got two good superstars numbers, you ain't got nobody running that offense right. That shit dead. Nah, they had Doug Christie running that shit that year. Oh well, yeah, that was his last year. He came to yeah. he came to a great team. He came. <laughs> He came to that Sacramento team. Nigga, that, you know, that's my mom. Shit. But, 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 yeah, he was, he was nice out there. And I think Muggsy Bones was the one of the ones. Hold on, sir. I can't what? let you. I got to get it one more time. I can't let you leave. We're going to get Mosey because Muggsy because I'm going to start talking. We're going to have you on the Blunt Rap Sports talking about this shit. Bro. That's cool, 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 but, cool, cool, cool. But you, you don't think that young Vince and Tracy McGrady could have really – I mean, who could have competed? I'm going to tell you. It would have been between them. I'm talking about year in and year after. Because I believe Milwaukee Bucks shouldn't have got broken up with the big three, Sam Cassell, Ray Allen, and um, Big Dog. Them niggas ran seven games with AI. I'm hip. Them niggas was balling. But, but, I, mean, I mean, Ray Allen and AI, they been going at it. Because he, he was making sure he scored. Basically... It was like, this was a game of, because, you know, Philly is defensive. So it was like, you got three niggas on Milwaukee that can get you 20 apiece. They asked the AI, can you at least get half of that? We can find two oh. other players to get you 15 apiece. And AI was oh, yeah. getting you 40 a game. That's what, AI really beat the Bucks that year, because the Bucks clearly, oh. in my opinion, should have beat them. They should have beat them. They should have beat them. And but see, this is this is the, with, with AI with AI and, and I'm sorry, AI and um, and Ray. Them niggas always had a rivalry. Remember, they both came on the Big East. I'm here. When then when it was Villanova. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He ain't playing Villanova. Georgetown, Connecticut. Yeah, you come. When Georgetown, them niggas used to battle. Them niggas used to ball. That, and a lot of people, a lot of people, people were sleeping on that young Ray Allen, yeah. No, that, but that young Ray Allen team was good. I'm 
I'm here. Like, like Ray Allen doesn't know. See, a lot of niggas know Ray Allen from three. His younger years, yeah, he's two. But he'll come down the lane and he'll duck on your ass. I'm here. But with, 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 with he Mabel Davis. He has the ball in his hands a lot, too, more than with people. Oh, oh yeah, of course, of course. That that Bucks team is to me to me honestly, you can't say that's not a, a, a not a big well I guess you can't you can't you can't frame uh, as far as hip hop knowledge because it's like how they say any given Sunday, bro that uh, Bucks team was a great team. Fuck it. Okay, okay, okay. I was scared to say that. I was scared to say that. I you wanted to be like because they didn't allow them to accomplish because they it's about money with these people. True, 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 true. They lost to AI, another great motherfucker who had a great team that year. That, that nigga was great. Yeah, they had a great team. They had the they had the and coach of the year, the Larry Brown. They had, they had six man of the year. They had decent player of the year. To me, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, that year they had a great team though, son. We already know the big V, the big three with Cassell, Ray, and the big dog. With with veteranship of a Sam Cassell who already played with the Dream and played with Drexler and won two rings. And Got was two rings. Of, and was a part of winning those rings. So he uh, had that okay. veteranship. Then you got Big Dog, who's a crafty veteran who he's a score. To me, he was the original Paul Pierce. It's my That's basic mean. for next, the next game. He was the uh, 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 yeah, 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 I know they're talking about it. Yeah, with a, with a, with a, uh, no, no, of course you know Paul more athletic. Uh, Paul, Paul, the Hall of Famer. <laughs> it's good. I'm here. I'm, here. I'm just saying. I'm just talking about, I'm just talking about, nah, bro, I'm talking in the, about You're talking about in the game situation. Yeah, I'm talking about talent because who's to say if Big Dog had a chance to play as long as he had, he was a great going to the All-Star. So it ain't that he ain't make the Hall of Fame because of his game. It's just Paul Pierce accomplished more. He played he played 18 years in the league. Yeah, that nigga, that nigga hit some clap. And he, guess he, what? Clap. I won't be surprised if the Big Dog, bro, the Big Dog might still make the Hall of Fame. Which well, let's, they making, you know what I'm saying? Let's just see this. How long has has good problems been retired? I don't really know though. I have to look up his number, so I ain't gonna really say that. But I'm probably gonna like oh two. Nah, I think like oh two. Well, before that, like oh five. Oh five? Yeah, because look, this is what I'm trying to tell you. They had the. Well, this is the thing. This is this is the thing. This is the thing. If it's oh five. It don't take but five years after you get out to get in the Hall of Fame. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. Eventually, if we go to the numbers, me, from what I know of Big Dog, because Big Dog, in my opinion, I think he's like a five-time NBA All-Star. Oh, yeah, 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 so yeah, 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 yeah. He got the, because people fail to realize when Ray was there, their leading score was Big Dog. So I'm just telling you the talent they had with a young, with a young Ray who was transitioning with the new league. So they had oh, okay, a, okay, okay. With a coach that already been to the finals. And look at the two players they was developing. Guess who was coming off the bench, bro? Tim Thomas. Ooh. Tim Thomas and Michael Red. Remember Michael, Michael Red, Red ended up going to the... Uh, and to the and Tim team. Thomas was nice. That's, bro, the Bucks had a good... Bro, when I used to play the PlayStation, remember Live 2001? The Bucks uh -huh. was one of the teams that used to fry on that jump. Shit, he helped. He helped. Um, Dallas get a ring. Oh, Tim Thomas was born. Dallas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, Tim Thomas great. Shit, he didn't have. No, no, no. Listen, listen. He played a big role. Look, look at it like this. Think about it. whenever, whenever you bring up the Dallas Mavericks NBA Finals year, other than Doug Nowitzki, ain't no Hall of Famers on that fucking team. I'm here. That nigga, that nigga played with all role players, but he had good role players. Yeah, he had right. pages. You need good yeah. role players. I feel like Akeem Olajuwon was playing with, I'm talking about the title years. That one year when Drexler came, I can't even, because he proved that he can win it. He won it the year before when Drexler wasn't there. 
if you get what I'm saying. So I felt like a keen one with great role players, basically. Answer this for me real quick, because I never thought about this until you actually just said that. I, I really had to think about this. I hope, uh, I, I, I hope, we, I hope we get views on this. Look, what do you think about the Clyde Jackson, Jackson situation? Is it because he was older? He said, man, I need to join, I need to join a lot of yeah, one. Bro, nah, that was simple, bro. Back in those times, they didn't do that dumb shit. Because there wasn't no guarantee they was going back. People failed to realize that year the Rockets was the sixth seed. It was too much competition. It was just the fact that the Portland was through with uh, Clyde. Because you got to think, Clyde was drafted in 83. He played 11 straight years with Portland. And at that time, they was ready to go young. The league was changing. People like Jason Kidd was coming in the league and, and Penny Hardaway and Grant Hill. So Portland... Yeah, 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 right, right. So the only reason why Clyde really went back to Houston, it wasn't even chasing the ring. It's the same reason why Wade went back to Chicago. That was Clyde hometown. Remember, he played with a team in college. They was the five slammer jammers. Yeah, all of them. It, so it, it, it was really the Rockland, Jessica, yeah. and yeah. Uh, Moses Malone, right? Uh... Nah, Moses Malone didn't play uh, in college. He was in Houston. Huh? No, no, it was, it was, no, no, I'm sorry, it was, it was Drexler, it was, I was in college, one. right? In college, right? Yeah, college, Houston. It was, it was, it was, I don't know was, the other three niggas' names. No, no, I, I, I said two. I'm trying to think the third one was, I couldn't have sworn it was. But it wasn't Moses Malone. It wasn't Malone? Malone? Nah, Malone, you know, Malone been, he was winning rings with Philly and, and Dr. J before Drexler and Alonzo. No, I know what it was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Moses Malone showed. I Moses think he Malone. showed Alonzo one. Yeah. Something. It was something. I, I, I had looked at you. What it okay, was, wait, wait, was uh, Moses Malone played in Houston. Like after. He even played in Houston before Philly or after Philly. It's something with that connection. So. He probably worked for the Lajuan game. And remember, Lajuan was great in the 80s because they even got to the finals and lost the bird when he was the original Twin Towers when he played with Ralph Sampson. But anyway, yeah, Ralph Clyde was Clyde, uh, one of my favorite players. Clyde really just went to Houston to just end off his career the right way. Clyde was always a businessman, like mature, a real professional. He did the best <laughs> he could with Portland. Hey, he got Portland to the finals twice. He just lost the, hey. the great bad boys, Pistons, and he lost the mic. Zoo, but that, that, that. You know, you know damn well he wanted that ring, though. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. come I'm on, saying, man. No, nah, I'm saying, of course he wanted the ring, but, but in that circumstance, it's not really called chasing the ring because they aren't the way to get to the finals. They wasn't a favorite just because they won before. Remember, it was too much competition. Remember the year that Houston even won the ring? Matumbo upset the number one seed, which was the Supersonics. They was projected. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just, three, two. just because Houston two. won, they wasn't a favorite. It wasn't no guarantee Clyde was about to go back. They didn't know. Come on now, the West had Peyton and Kemp, Malone and Stockton. That year that they won with Clyde, the number one team was San Antonio, bro. No, 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 no. That's true. And this, that's that, was Antonio, was Antonio McDice, was he in the mix? Nah, not doing that time. Nah, McDice came out. Okay, up. okay. I'm talking about McDice. Nice. I'm going to tell you another team. I'm talking about how Clyde earned that ring. In 95, who did they go seven games with in the second round? Who? K.J. Barkley and the Suns. No, no, no. no. I, 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 I didn't know where you were coming from. from, from. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that time game because Mario Eddie hit that three. Yeah. They called it the kiss of death game. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Ma Mario, Mario Eddie. Mario Eddie hit that three. Barkley, and I don't know why Barkley and them don't really talk about K.J. more. If you go back to that, bro, in that game seven, K.J. put up 46 or 44. KJ, KJ won't get it because KJ throughout the course of his career don't match up number wise. He was he was a he was one of those he he showed up basically. 
You'll yeah. ne you'll never you'll never get a K Day uh 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 reference to a lot of shit. But K J did one thing that a lot of niggas didn't do and that was come punch that shit down on Lazy one. The one but like you said, you bro, KJ showing up and it's about money, bro. It's about who they support. Like I give you an example. The year that the Phoenix Suns went to the finals, guess what KJ got a record for? One of the games they went to triple overtime. To this day I know, I know. KJ holds the record for the most minutes played. In a single NBA game, not even the finals, because they played triple. He played the whole game, including the whole triple overtime. I think it was like he gave him sixty-three minutes. And, That's because. And, 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 the, and I'm gonna tell you how wicked they are, bro. Guess what the white coach did in that series? Remember they used to hype Dan Marley. Well, he was a beast. He was a beast. But remember how you said KJ showed up. Bro, they was having KJ check Jordan. Why? Look how little he is. And <laughs> if KJ played the whole game, they're showing you how important KJ really was. Oh. But there was no backup. Put them off in a year. Remember they, they, had, had, um, they had the backup they point guy was that nigga Perry. Um, Remember the nigga that used to wear the socks? He was trained. Yeah, Elliot Perry or some shit. <laughs> But not, but but so Kevin he, Johnson was he hear this? We run an offense. Kevin Johnson. Oh, he hit right. All right. I don't know. Text me where to go with that shit or some shit or where the fuck is Blitz Face? Yo, you pay for that shit. That shit out there by stadium. So just go straight back. I mean, I'm saying it's a good. straight shot. Or basically you know directly. Where stadium at, right? Nah. Right there where we was up by the days in where we just got the roll up. Oh why? This shit got me. But yeah, hello? Hello? Thomas. You know, shout out Blunt Rock Sports TV. You just said that was my nigga Tommy T. We just talking about the great era. You know what I mean? This shit terrible.